Don't worry. Am I first? Order. Is any member seeking the call? Mr. Pres oh. Mr President, thank you. Honourable Jeremy Buckingham. Mr President, I rise uh, this afternoon to speak on the need for a domestic gas reservation policy. Resources and an energy minister, Chris Harcher, is running uh, a scare campaign in cahoots with the gas companies and their lobbyists at Appia. They're telling the people of New South Wales that we're about to run out of gas. Minister Harcher told the Sunday Telegraph recently, if we're unable to access gas, the lights will go out. Yet at the same time, as we're apparently running out of gas, the big multinational oil companies are spending tens of billions constructing export terminals at Gloucester in Queensland to export gas. What a contradiction. The truth is, there is that there is plenty of conventional gas in Australia, not only in Western Australia, but gas connected to the East Coast gas markets from South Australian, the South Australian desert and from Bass Strait. AGL Chief Executive Michael Fraser admits as much in today's Australian, and I quote him, if you look at New South Wales and Victoria, we would argue right now and for the next two to three years, those markets are well supplied, well supplied with gas, and there is no reason for prices to step up. End quote. The main influence in the East Coast gas market at the moment is the rush by a few multinational oil companies to export to markets in Asia. Gas companies are signing multi-billion dollar export contracts. Gas companies can command prices up to 300 per cent higher in the, uh, the greater Asia-Pacific region than they can in Australia. The liquid natural gas export terminals being built at Gladstone will act as giant vacuum cleaners sucking up all the gas they can find to sell at high prices. The effect on the domestic gas market is a surge in the price of gas towards parity with the export price. This means household consumers and industry in Australia will have the prices, their prices double or triple. After all, why would a gas company sell to Australian companies at $3.50 or $4 a gigajoule when they could see the same gas go to South Korea, Japan or China for $9 a gigajoule? The cost will be borne by Australian households, by Australian businesses and by the Australian environment. The Australian Industry Group released a report last Last year entitled Large Scale Export of East Coast Gas, uh, East Coast Australian Natural Gas, Unintended Consequences, still one of the largest employers. The report notes, and I quote, without a, sub a subsequent assurance of reliable, competitively priced supplies of gas for domestic industry, Australia has only a few years before significant economic loss is likely to be felt from the failure to secure an affordable supply of natural gas to domestic users. End quote. The Australian Industry Group calculates that the overall loss to annual GDP will be $22 billion that it will, um, uh, if it was unable to secure uh, affordable gas. Rather than implement a sensible gas reservation policy to ensure supply for domestic markets, Minister Harcher and the gas industry just want to let the coal seam gas industry loose all over New South Wales and Queensland. But why, why should homeowners of Western Sydney have their suburbs turned into a toxic gas field? Uh, so that big oil can export gas to, Australia, uh, to Asia. Why should we drill toxic coal seam gas wells in the Sydney drinking water catchment so that big oil can export gas to Asia? Why should the farmers of, and residents in Gloucester have their beautiful valley and aquifers pockmarked with gas wells so, the big, so that big oil can export gas to Asia? Why should we risk the highly productive black soil of the Liverpool Plains so that big oil can export gas, gas to Asia? And why should the farmers and communities of the northern rivers be in Industrialise so that big oil can export gas to Asia. The gas beneath the ground belongs to all Australians. Why should we let a few very large companies flog it overseas at the expense of, an Australia, of Australian consumers, Australian jobs and the Australian environment? What Australia needs is a nationwide domestic gas reservation policy. Under this policy, gas companies would be required to keep a certain percentage of gas within Australia for domestic use. The Dom Gas Alliance, an alliance of energy and manufacturing companies pushing for a domestic gas reservation policy, notes that of the top 20 countries with natural gas reserves and exporting, only one country allows unrestricted gas export exports. That one country is Australia. Even that bastion of global capitalism, the United States, places uh, restrictions on gas exports. There is plenty of conventional gas in, in, in eastern Australia. The question is whether we are sensible and reserve some, for Austra uh, some Australian gas for use by Australian consumers. Australian governments should be working towards a domestic gas reservation policy now. The Honourable Sarah Mitchell.